Hi, and welcome to this new tutorial. And today I've been asked to show how to import um, uh, objects, uh, meshes, uh, with PC2 cache animation from Blender. So we will review that uh, in this uh, short video. So I just downloaded this model uh, on some uh, website. Uh, where was it? Uh, this website, free 3D model. So it's one of those, this wolf here. Uh, you can get. Um, so it comes with three different versions, one already baked uh, in one mesh for export. So that's what we want to achieve, but let's take the first uh, the first one, which is the, the default rigging. So we are going to export from this uh, object. So let's take the outliner and show me everything. Okay. Took, took, took. So here I have uh, the wolf here, and the wolf is in um, several different pieces. You can see here, so the main body, the fangs, the fur, etc., etc. Uh, so what we need to have when we export PC2 cache animation is to have only one object. So even if I select these two objects and export them as one object into uh, as an one single OBG, um, it will cause an issue because I cannot do that uh, when I export in PC2, unfortunately. So I have to export one pieces one after uh, the other. So let's start to export uh, these pieces. So here we can see that my animation goes from one to uh, 17 uh, frames so I will export 17 frames of my animation so let's just check how the animation is done okay so I see here that I have key every frame okay and every two frames afterwards so first um, we need to activate the export in a cache animation because if right now I go into file export I have no access to cache animation so to do that, we go to Edit Preferences, and um, this version of Blender is uh, 2.83, uh, so the last one, so I don't know for the oldest version. So let's go into um, so Blender Preferences, uh, click on Add-on here, and search for Point Cache, it's here, let's activate. Uh, okay, and here you have the documentation if you have any uh, trouble. So now let's export this first piece. Uh, I'm going to do with two, uh, with the body and the fur. So with the body first. Let's export that into OBG and into my PC2 folder here. Wolf model for Blender, Blend OBG, let's call that one. Okay, so I know this is the body. Maybe I call that just body okay and now i want to export uh, my selection only uh, not uh, every object but only my uh, my selection it's in y up uh, this should be all right so let's try okay now let's export the um, the cache animation for this one so uh, export here you have uh, point cache so is, this will export the selected object and the animation of the selected object so export point cache point pc2 let's go into pc2 and let's call that uh, body point pc2 and here <coughs> you see i have uh, you can uh, remain with convert with y up and apply modifiers then start from when uh, last frame in this case will be 17 and sampling uh, here is just uh, how precise will be the sampling. So here in one, it will do a sample animation in every frame. If I do 0 0.1, it will do 10, 10 uh, sampling by frame and 10, it will do uh, one sampling every 10 frames. Here, every keyframe is put uh, in every frame. So uh, sampling of one should be all right. So body point PC do export, all right. Let's do the same with the fur. Export wavefront. Okay, and this will be called fur. Okay, and let's export the point cache. 
There should be some script existing, I'm sure of it, uh, to export every PC and uh, in point cache, but I did not do a big search on this subject. So now I've exported the fur and uh, the body. And so you see that I have several other pieces like the clothes, where are they? Like the clothes and uh, claw, cla clothes. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And the fangs, but for the, the exercise, that will be all right. So let's go in uh, into SMOD and let's put my PC2 uh, folder here. Okay, so let's import the body here. Okay. We import as 3D group or reference geometry will do the same because I have only one object. So I have my reference geometry, my body. And here you see crutch by the mighty power of uh, my face cube. And here you can see that I already have this piece of uh, PC2 cache animation because if I name my OBG with the same name as my PC2, SMOD will automatically uh, get it. So if I play in a standalone, there you see my uh, animation. So I am in. A, I have made an export of 17 frames. So here in SMOD, I am by default in 50 frames by second. I think. I don't know. Yeah, I am in 50 frames by second. So that's why um, the the wolf is uh, quite fast. But we do not care about that. And then let's import the fur object. Okay, as a reference also. So now I have the fur, <coughs> which has uh, also its own uh, animation. And if you have any problem, you will see here a red cross uh, that say why you do not have uh, something that work. And usually it's because if you export many objects and uh, one PC2, you will have some shit happening. So now to see how will work this animation of my wolf. So let's create a bank, an animation bank, and let's create a standalone timeline instead of it. And this standalone timeline, I will ask it to do 17 frame okay let's zoom on and let's put these two little uh, pc to cache animation player into this timeline pif poof and now i have my timeline with my animation and now i can play my animation loop here and in loop okay and here if i reduce the speed Okay, you see here I have not really any issue, even if I only do a sample every frame and 17 frame, the interpolation between each sample is kind of linear interpolation, so I can slow down uh, very much my animation, so this is no issue. Okay, so basically that's how you do um, PC2 cache uh, animation, uh, and uh, that's it. And just let's put into the albedo a little layer into the albedo of my uh, my wolf and put a video input file. Mm, put side that in emissive, maybe be better. Up emissive video input. Mm, nice. And let's control shift A and duplicate this on the next one. Okay, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care, control drag and drop. Well, that's a little bit strange, but okay. Where is the, where is the head of the wolf? On the top. Ah, I cannot map my face on the wolf, too bad. So that's it. I hope uh, you enjoyed and uh, uh, Rob, this was for you.